We are heading off for a cute, cosy little weekend. We're going to like a little lodge cabin type thingy near to York. We are taking the dogs along. I'm going with my boyfriend, my family, like my brother's girlfriend's come in. We are all gonna go and have a cute, cosy, wholesome weekend. I'm really excited. It's just gonna be a chill one. And we are also gonna go to the Christmas market. So I'll have to be up there too. Literally can't wait. Let's go. So I've just realised that I haven't really updated much since we got back from the little lodge. But it was really, really cute. So it was kind of like just outside of York. Like I said, I went with like my family, my boyfriend, my brother's girlfriend came. And we took the dogs with us. And it was just a really cute, cosy, wholesome weekend. We honestly just chilled whilst we were there. And kind of just relaxed and enjoyed the actual like lodge that we were staying in. We did go to the Christmas markets in York and that was really nice as well. I love the Christmas markets even though they are a little bit shit, let's be honest. Like the stalls are all very samey but I love going for the Christmassy festive vibes. I'm actually going to London next week too and I'm so excited for that. But yeah, the Christmas markets were really, really cute. Of course I had to get all of like the snacks and food and a hot chocolate, duh. But I'm just about to go and take the dogs on a walk, hence why I'm in this big fluffy coat. I'm actually obsessed with it. It's from Boohoo. I've picked up a few really cute bits from them in the last few weeks. I might maybe show you some of them because they are like cute wintery bits that I've picked up for my trip to London. But yeah, I'm just going to go and take the dogs out and the weather is horrendous so I'm not looking forward to it. It looks so cold. It's literally been freezing. We've had a little bit of snow the last few days. So I have to say I do not enjoy owning a dog in the winter but we move. So I think I'm just going to put up some Christmas decorations. Um, I obviously have my Christmas bedding up but I don't have the tree in here and I have some like little ornaments and candles and stuff that will be cute. So I'm going to do that and then I also have some presents I need to wrap. So we're going to have a little bit of a Christmassy, festive, cosy afternoon. Also can we take a minute of how cute my nails are? Got little bows on them. Adorable. <laughs> Followed by his gang of heroes. Jin, tell him. 
that she knew what he really was, and that she too would effortlessly subdue her. She picked up a bring to heavy arm around her shoulders, keeping her close. She I've just came home to Never by Jessa Hastings. Look at her. She is stunning. I'm literally like in awe at how beautiful this book is. Look at the inside. She is absolutely beautiful. I've literally never seen a pretty book in my life. One thing about Jessa Hastings is she is going to deliver on the book cover. I'm literally like, I can't believe this is in my possession. I'm so excited to read. So, so, so excited to read it. If you don't know, Jessa Hastings is the author of the Magnolia Parks universe, which is one of my all-time favourite books, all-time favourite series. And this is her new release, completely unrelated to the Magnolia Parks universe. This is never, it's a Peter Pan retelling. It's the first fantasy book. One of my most highly anticipated reads of the year. And it's here. I'm literally like, I am in the middle of filming like a reading vlog of reading Christmassy books, but this is making me want to like scrap all of them and start this. I'm literally shook. She is stunning, literally so beautiful. And I really hope that I like the book too because she's just gorgeous and if I don't like the story I will cry but I just had to show you it I had to keep you in the loop okay so I thought I would give you a really quick boohoo winter cozy clothing kind of mini haul because I've picked up some really cute bits and I just need to share them first one is this jumper that I've got on now it says Mont Blanc Mont Blanc why does that not sound right in my voice but it's really cute it's giving me like a specific kind of vibe and I don't know what it is. I think it's giving me like old Hollister, which I don't know if I should like or not, but I do. But it's like a white cream with burgundy little stars on and obviously the lettering. And I just really like it. I think they also had it in like a black and white as well, but I thought I'd branch out a little bit. I did order quite a few stuff that either just like doesn't fit right or I don't think suits me. So I've sent that back. So these are just the pieces that I've kept. But then I got this like loungewear athleisure kind of set i love boohoo for things like this i think they are such good quality and obviously so affordable so i got this gray one it's like slinky kind of material and it's just like a long top rather than it being a crop which i really like and then the same matching leggings i love things like this for like lounging about every day like i feel like they work for such a range of purposes and events like whether i'm walking the dogs if i'm going for a coffee day if i'm just chilling around the house if you actually go to the gym these would be great too then i got this like knitted jumper dress i think i might wear this on christmas day but i am also going to london like next weekend so i think this might be cute if we go for like drinks or winter wonderland with like some cute tights and boots it's actually from nasty girl but they do stock nasty girl on boohoo now so got that it's really cute but it's very staticky it's like really thick and fluffy but like i said when you put it on it just feels kind of staticky i did also get willow who is my puppy if you don't know i did get her a jumper that kind of matches for christmas day am i mentally ill probably but i'll put a picture of it here because it is actually downstairs and i can't be asked to go and get it and we are gonna look so cute together the ultimate duo okay there were the last actual clothing bits i got like i said i did send a few back because they don't fit but then i got two new coats it's gonna be really hard to show you actually the first one that i got is just this gray kind of wool look long coat because the one that i have that i normally wear like my long gray coat i honestly think i've had since i was about 16 so i felt like she was in need of like an upgrade and this one is just like a little bit smarter but it'll still work for like casual wear as well i'm actually like i say when i go to london next week i'm thinking of wearing this with that athleisure set underneath i think that could look quite cute with like a big chunky scarf and just trainers because obviously we're going on the train so the train ride is like three ish hours so I want to be comfy and then yeah, I think it'll still look cute. And then I got this brown, absolutely stunning aviator style coat. It's like completely fur lined with like the brown fluffy fur. And then obviously brown leather, brown fur cuffs as well. I am absolutely obsessed. I would like to say it's obviously not real leather, just in case that wasn't clear. But I'm literally obsessed with it. It's such good quality and so thick. 
I think I'm also going to take this to London with me with that jumper dress and like some cute tights and a boot maybe for either like brunch or winter wonderland tbc haven't decided yet and then last thing that i actually got from boohoo is this hair clip so it is like a ball but it's on a clip i actually didn't realize it was like a full-on claw clip but i'm obsessed with wearing balls in my hair at the minute along with probably literally everybody else is that cute i don't know i actually had like a ball era in maybe like year nine and i used to wear balls in my hair all the time i actually at the minute i'm going through a little bit of a hate phase with my hair I feel like my bangs just don't go right which is so weird because I've had bangs for like the last however many years and I feel like they always obviously you have like off days but I feel like they always lay okay but this time since getting them cut I literally hate them I feel like I just look like a coconut head and they just don't lay right ever and then also because of the weather she's just been going so frizzy and like dropping out like my hair was nicely curled this morning I've literally only been to walk the dogs and it's like this so i've been wearing it in a half up literally all the time because it looks better than if it was all down and like half straight half curly so if you see me in a half up from now until whenever i next get my hair done and get it cut and it's nice and not frizzy and rainy and horrible outside mind your business but yeah anyways i'm obsessed with wearing my hair in a half up at the minute which i did use to love a half up anyways but i feel like i've been wearing it in a half up literally every day but then you can put a cute bow on and it looks great let me show you some others that i've got actually so i also picked up these two both are from primark so i've got this cute little white one and then this gigantic black one i do also want a red one for like the festive season but i haven't been able to find one yet so i might just have to dig out some ribbon actually so that i have a variation of like sizes and stuff but they are my little hair balls i thought whilst i'm giving this like a clothing haul i will also show you this one that i got i actually bought this off a tiktok shop but obviously it was from a brand called catch me on there but it is just this two-piece like collard knitted thingy with like wide leg pants with this like embroidered thingy on the bottom i absolutely love this again i think i might take this to london with me this might be like a winter wonderland potential outfit because it is just so cute and cozy but that is my little mini winter cozy clothing haul i do post more like outfit fashion content over on my tiktok if you want to see how i style them everything like that what i'm wearing which most of the time is just cozy clothes actually but anyways follow my tiktok but for the rest of today i think me and will are actually going to go out for a coffee there is a new place that has opened near me and it looks so so cute and they actually do a chai banana bread two of my favorite things combined in one and i need to try it desperately so i think i'm gonna go there they do allow dogs but because i haven't been before i think i'm gonna go without willow and then next time we go we can take her just because i like to like scope the area out first see what it's like but yeah i'm really excited i feel like i haven't been on a coffee date in so long it literally probably is not that long but i feel like i used to go on one like two or three times a week and I haven't been in quite a while because I've just been so busy. So I'm really looking forward to it. And like I said, the chai banana bread. If it disappoints, I will literally cry because I'm looking forward to it so much. So I'm just gonna finish up getting ready. I think I'm just gonna stay wearing this, just maybe put some jeans on and a cute coat. But yeah, I'm gonna go get a chai latte and then I'll probably come home and chill and read because it is raining and gloomy and I just wanna stay right here. <laughs> So of course the coffee shop was full, there was no seats. So we went somewhere else, but then I wanted to call back anyways to try the chai latte and the banana bread. They didn't have any banana bread. So I got a cinnamon bun instead and a chai latte and the chai latte is so good. So I'm just gonna eat my cinnamon bun with a cuppa and read for a little bit. So that is my afternoon.